Welcome to day five of the fast. You know, in the Bible, the number five represents grace. And today I'm praying that God's grace would continue to empower you as you seek after him praying and fasting. You know, a few months back, my brother Nathan and I signed up for a race which involved endurance, but also strength obstacles like carrying heavy things, crawling through the mud, you know, climbing over obstacles. And to make sure we were prepared for the race day, we started training together. Obviously, a part of the training was running. And so on each Tuesday afternoon leading up to the race, we would do our long run for the week. And as we slowly increased our distances over the weeks leading up to the race, there would come a point in almost every run where I would start thinking to myself, you know, I, I kind of want to keep going. I have the strength to keep going, but all I want to do is just stop. So almost every time there would come that point where I would have to tell myself, no matter what, I'm going to keep at it. Have you ever noticed how our mind and our body tend to do this whenever we do anything that moves us out of our comfort zone? Many of us have been experiencing that this week as our body cries out for food. But what I find interesting is that the same feeling can often occur when it comes to prayer. Meaning we so often will have good intentions of making prayer a daily habit, but when we actually sit down to pray, it's hard to stay focused and actually do it. At other times we feel like we've prayed and prayed to no avail, so we say, what's the point? Why keep doing this? Have you ever experienced this? If you have, I want you to know you're not alone. Everybody experiences this. It's not just you. And it's often because our flesh gets in the way of our great intentions to pray. So let me show you this in scripture. We've looked at this passage already, but on the night Jesus was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane with his disciples, he was there praying, and I want you to watch what happens. It says, then he returned to his disciples, this is talking about Jesus, and found them sleeping. And he said, couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. I want you to think about this. Even Jesus' top three disciples fell asleep while praying. Jesus told another parable to his disciples of a persistent widow in Luke chapter 18. And the reason he told the parable, look at how it's introduced. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. So question, if prayer was something that comes easily to us, would Jesus have felt the need to teach why we should pray and not give up? No, because Jesus knew that in deepening our prayer life, it was gonna go against the grain of our natural inclinations. This is why we need to talk about the fifth essential today. And it's essential number five, staying power. If we're gonna go deeper in our prayer life, we're gonna to need to develop the ability to stay at it even when we feel like our time would be better spent doing something else, even when we feel like we're seeing no answer and it's time to give up. But we might ask, okay, so how do I grow in my staying power? Well, it's simple, just by staying at it. So you'll never progress in your prayer life if you quit every time you feel like it. Just like with anything, there will be times when you have to push through and tell yourself no matter what, no matter what I feel, I'm gonna stay at it. I love how Pastor Jonathan Stockstill put it when he said, if you listen to your flesh, you will never spend time in prayer. Make a decision to spend time with God. When your flesh doesn't feel like it, do it anyway. Your spirit needs to be with its creator, your life needs it, and the world needs the effective prayers of a righteous person. So let me encourage you today, don't give up, keep praying. God's working, stay at it. I'm praying God's grace over you today, and I hope that you can join us tomorrow as our founding pastor, Pastor Cal, will be here talking about the sixth essential of prayer, and that's faith. Hope to see you tomorrow.